cardiovascular system, last item. The different circulations that your heart does. Two circulations, a big one and a small one. Now when you look at this picture, you got to think that this happens within the body. It's not separated this way. This is made this way to try to help you see this. So the small circulation, the pulmonary circulation, is a loop between the heart and lungs. And it's called small because they're very close to each other. The big one, the systemic circulation, is between the heart and the whole body. It's called, it's called systemic, but it's, it's very big because your heart pumps to the whole body and back. So this is quite more, a greater distance, okay? So let's look at the first one. The big dot, we start at the big dot and we end at the small green dot. So the right side of the heart pumps this blood. Remember, it's the ventricles that pump. So the, the, heart is, the blood is pumped out of the heart. It goes to the lungs. So at this point, the blood is deoxygenated. It goes to the lungs where you blow this out. Inhale. This blood eventually, oxygen, the oxygen eventually goes into the blood. It's brought back to the heart, and this loop that I just described here is the pulmonary circulation. Okay? As soon as the pulmonary circulation ends, the other one begins. It's a continual loop. So now the systemic circulation starts on the left side of the heart, goes towards the body, where the oxygen is given to your tissues, where your, your blood now picks up CO2, and the CO2 goes back to the blood, and there are two arrows here, one for the inferior vena cava and the superior vena cava and back to the heart. All right, so these are the two types of circulations, the smaller and the larger one that you have within the heart. <coughs> Now's your homework. A little post-it for you right here. Okay, so you got to take notes down. Are you ready? Do you have a pen? All right, number one, give me the path the blood takes through your body. Now I just want words. You can either do lists, okay, or you can have a word, an arrow, a word, an arrow, and this should be one huge loop. All the parts through which the blood travels, through your heart and body, okay? Number two, define diastole, systole, and pulse in your words, all right? Number three, give me your pulse. I want you to figure out where your pulse is over a minute and give me your pulse. The easiest thing is to do for 15 seconds, multiply by four, and give me your pulse, okay? And number four, give me four differences between the two types of circulation. You're gonna go, whoa, how do I figure that out? Well, things like size, things like side of the heart used, and so on. So make a nice table with a nice title, organize your information, figure out what's important. I want four thingies in here, and you put this in a nice table, and this is due next class.